is Clay Hayes with TwistedStave.com and Backcountry Hunters and Anglers coming to you from North Central Idaho and bringing you another episode of Backcountry College. What we're going to go over today is just a very, very basic uh, how to lay out a fire and start a fire. And once we get that done, we'll climb up in elevation, uh, get into some rain, and take a look at what we can do to get fire going when everything's wet. You want to get your fuels up off the ground, from, from places up off the ground. You don't want to be collecting them, uh, things that are laying right down on the ground because the moisture content in that type of stuff will be a little bit higher. Um, in conditions like we've got right now, it's been dry. Everything, you can pretty much throw a match down somewhere in here, you're going to start a fire. Uh, so these are really easy conditions. Uh, you could get your fuel from basically anywhere. Uh, but when you get into a little bit more difficult situations, that really comes into play. Now I've got my fuels all laid out here and I've got them in different piles. Uh, I went ahead and got some dry grass too because that's really good for getting fires going. And then I've got my a uh, little bit finer stuff or, or the, the fine fuels here, a little bit coarser and then uh, the main fuel wood there. The way I like to lay out a fire is I'll take two of these bigger pieces and lay them right in here. And I'll take a cross piece and put right there. What we're going to do is take our fines, our tender, and put right down here. So that's the grass. And then we'll take the little bit, take our twigs, a little bit coarser stuff, lay on top. What this cross piece is doing is it's holding all this stuff up off of the flames or off of the, uh, the tender here so that it doesn't fall down and smother it. And we'll throw a little bit bigger stuff right on top. So that's the basic layout of a fire. Uh, this is very, very easy conditions. Everything's really dry. Uh, we're able to find some really good fuel. Um, but let's move up in elevation and see if we can't throw a little bit of challenge into it. See what we can find. Well, this ought to do it. I'm about 2,000 feet higher in elevation and it's raining. And it's been raining for about a week. So everything's pretty soaking wet. Uh, but if you know where to look, you can still find some dry tinder and uh, dry material. If you'll look behind me here, there's kind of a big gnarly fir. Uh, and a lot of times those bigger fir trees will shed the rain. And even though it's been raining out here solid for a week, uh, the stuff that's up underneath that stuff will be bone dry. So let's go take a look. So. Everything underneath this fur is dry. All these little twigs are nice and dry. This stuff will make uh, really good kindling. And a lot of times in these conifer forests, you'll find this hair moss. Uh, and as long as it's dry, this stuff makes really good tinder. So, you know, just right here under this fur, we've got everything we need. And it's all dry uh, for making a fire, even in pretty, uh, pretty bad conditions. So we'll go ahead and collect some of this stuff some of these smaller branches. So uh, a lot of times you're not going to be able to find one of those big old fir or spruce or something like that that's really got a dense canopy that's, that's shedding the rain. Um, but you can still find dry material. And behind me I've got a, a dug fir with some dry branches or with some dead branches. They're all wet because the canopy's not thick enough. Uh, but what I can do is get up there, get some of that, uh, those dead branches that are off the ground, rip one down and then split it with my knife and then start shaving curls off of it. 
and do kind of what you call feather sticking. So once you get inside this stuff, I mean that's all it's all dry wood. You can shave off little curls like that and that's all good dry dry kindling. Uh, and you can you can keep those things attached to the stick and do what they call feather sticking. That's a good way to get a fire going uh, when everything around you is wet. Uh, you have to have the, the foresight to bring something with you. Another really good fire starter is just to take a plain old cotton ball and smear some uh, petroleum jelly on it. These things burn like gasoline and they'll burn for a pretty good little while and, and put off quite a bit of heat. Um, you can really get a fire going in some pretty nasty conditions with those things as well.